Hi, I wanted to present how to use a copilot uh, in Vim. Actually, I already created uh, a connection between um, my uh, WSL2. Actually, uh, it's a Ubuntu machine. I presented in a previous tutorial how to make it work. And then I was able to configure it. So I'll try to present it in a moment how to make it work. Um, first of all, you need to understand a few things about third version. You need to have uh, at least version 18 um, because Copilot requires it or newer one. And um, if you want to actually check version which you have, you can go to the directory. In your home directory, the NVM or version node it's creating because I was installing with NVM uh, the Node.js, right? Um, if you have on a other version here, you can remove it. The, you can eventually set the default version with NVM. So, for example, if you want to set the uh, default Node.js with NVM, uh, you need to figure it out how to make it work. Um, and that's it's quite easy just because um if you will do this present it in what um like you need something like a file with alias uh, you can do this um in your system uh, you can eventually use any command so we can try to do it um at just um npm alias and the default version but instead of v i will just try to use this number right and now, if I will use node version, um, that is interesting because it should be this one. And I want to hmm, NVMLS, and at least on the version. And you can see it's a version 20.2, and there's a system also. And the default is set to 20.2, but the system is using 80. I don't know why, actually. So, Eventually, you can try to do something like npm use the default, right? Now, using mode 20.2, and if you will now do this node v, you can see it's using it. So, the first command is first of all, go here, check version, I mean, check directories, because if you have any other, do this something like rm, rf, and for example, like that, version 14.21.2. And remove it. Then go to the home directory, just you know, to, to make it clean up. And after that, set up the alias, right? The default. After that, right? You have the default. And after that, you just node version. And it should use 20.2 euros. And um, that's, that's very important. And now, if I will go to Vim test sh, and for example, I would like to use a copilot, right? So, copilot uh, status enabled and online. Okay, lovely. So we're trying to create a bash script. So hit insert, slash mark, yes sir. Uh, bin bash, right? Or bin bash. Three. Like that, right? And now hit the tabulator and it will do the completion. This is a test script. Hit enter, hit the tabulator, and then eventually you can use something like your name so we can delete with x and insert Adrian Francis my name O date yeah tabulator excellent you can of course choose the version and you can see something like that and eventually you can use something like insert echo and hello 
something like this. I hope you can you can do it just like that. Sorry. And you can put the end of the read. Oh, and now H mode user plus H to test the H file and test as H file and this is a test script. So you can see the copilot is using a completion and this way you can make it work. Um, so much faster, much better. And of course, if you are writing some complex code, this is more convenient way to use it. So that was the example how to use a copilot inside the Vim. It's quite easy, but you need to understand that you need a proper version of Node.js uh, to be set as default and that's the reason and sometimes you have more than one node.js version installed in your operating system so you need to check exactly and with uh, with the command i will enable it once again here we go if you will nvm list like that it will show you what you have currently installed and if you will use the remote, it will list. Uh, I'm not sure if it's this way. Uh, sorry, I don't remember all those commands. Please remote, yeah, this one. It will list all versions that are available and you can install it with NVM install and the proper version if you want to have more than one and it's required. And then you can set up the default version and you will be able to work with a co-pilot and that's all actually this is something that i was able to figure out because uh, i was wondering if it's possible to make it work and because the co-pilot uh, was returning the result that is, is unable to run because i do not have a proper version of the node.js installed in the system and after that uh, I was able to run it, but when I shut down the WSL, WSL2 machine, my Ubuntu machine, and then uh, once again I powered it on, um, the default version was 14.21 or something like that. So, yeah, and I had to set the default version to 20. something as I presented, and now I can use the copilot. So, this is the way uh, you can use it. And just be careful, just like that, because it's crucial into, and I hope you will be able to use it properly in your common life. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.